Hello lovelies, I'm Jenny and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome. So today guys, we are celebrating because I reached 100 subscribers, 100 subscribers guys. I am so happy, I'm so elated and I know we are only gonna go up from here. So if you haven't joined the club, hit that subscribe button. We are only going up from here and hit that like button and don't forget to hit that little bell icon that tells you exactly when I upload so you never miss any of my content. So, I bet you clicked on this video because you're like, how did you get 100 subscribers, right? How do we get 100 subscribers? How do you grow your YouTube channel? Well, I am here to tell you it takes a lot of hard work, hustle, and you will be very busy in the beginning. I mean, probably, the whole time you do YouTube, but in the beginning the most because you are trying to gain traction on YouTube. You don't have traction yet, you just uploaded your video and you're like, okay, let me push it out to friends and family. Boom, 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 right? And then all of a sudden you're like, oh wow, I got like a ton of subscribers from friends and family because we push it out. So that comes to my main point. So. Since we are pushing it out to our friends and family first, that's exactly what I did. And if you haven't already, please do that because that will give you your most followers in the beginning. Just to give it a little push, you know what I'm saying? So do that. And when you do that, I got about 65 to about 75 subscribers from friends and family. And I mean, if you have a ton of friends and family, you might even get a hundred. You know what I mean? But... This video is whether you already have 100 and want to get your next 100 or if you just are starting out and want to reach that 100 mark, okay? So I said, push it out to your friends and family. I know it's gonna get embarrassing. Um, I'm pretty sure I bothered some people, but just, you know, watch social cues. Like I do it on Facebook because I got most of my following from Facebook and I always post it on my timeline so people know when I drop a new video. Now with Snapchat and Instagram, I really don't push it out too much. On Instagram, I just put it on my story just because I want my Instagram to be more, I don't know what you call it, just more of like different things and like pictures and stuff like that, not just YouTube, right? I mean, I will use it to promote my YouTube, but not strictly for YouTube, right? So I only put it on my storyline on Instagram and I do that every single time I upload. I post it to Facebook every single time I upload. Snapchat was a different story. When I first did my first video, I like pushed it out and I sent it to all my friends on Snapchat. And at first everyone was like, okay, cool, I'll check it out, awesome, blah, 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 you know, normal stuff. But uh, the second time I did it, a lot of people just didn't open it, and if they did open it, they didn't really say anything. Some people were still very sweet and supporting and said that they already subscribed or that they were going to go watch it, and I see y'all, I appreciate y'all, but I just kind of took that as like, maybe I shouldn't do that anymore on Snapchat, you know what I mean? So just. Do social cues, guys. You know when you feel comfortable doing something or not. I mean, definitely push it out there and have your friends and family push it out there for you too. Like my mom shares it, my dad shares it, my husband shares it, and that helps a lot too because not only am I getting my people on my side, but their people on their side. So definitely push it out and it will help. It will help you get some subscribers at first. And that's what we need to gain that traction. It's like an uphill climb, guys uphill climb. We're going there. So it is a good way to get a bunch of subscribers quick just because they're friends and family, they want to support you, but it is not good long term because they can only subscribe once. There's only so many of them, right? So what we really need to talk about is long term growth in the beginning. So I know if you're anything like me, the first thing you did when you started your YouTube channel was Googling or YouTubing. like how to grow your channel, how to get followers, not followers, we're not on Instagram, on Instagram, <laughs> can't talk today, or how to grow your channel and how to get more subscribers and everything, more watch time, and what most people say is something like this. 
triple T, right? Have we heard it? I don't know. I've heard it a lot in the videos that I have watched and it's not bad advice. But I'm here to tell you that triple T is title, thumbnail, and time. So title is, of course, make a good title. You know, this is very good information but i'm not gonna lie you probably have thought about it a lot since you have wanted to start a channel and you know for a good youtube channel to grow they have to get found by the youtube algorithm right so that youtube pushes your video out so when you do that you have to have a good title to have keywords in it right and also a good thumbnail just so when it does pop up on the you know search page then you stand out and people want to click on your video because of your thumbnail you kind of have to just like you if you've been watching youtube a lot you know like the best titles the best thumbnails get the views right so and then you watch time i didn't know this when i started so that tip was actually really good for me they say not to make them too too short because it's going to take you forever to reach your watch time to get monetized but they also say not to make them too too long so, I mean, I'm trying to cut down my videos a little bit. I think 20 minutes is kind of like borderline long, but I like to stick around 10 minutes to 20 minutes. So they say that helps you get more watch time because they probably watch a little bit more just because it's a longer video, if that makes sense. But those tips are all really good tips and I am not knocking on the videos that only talked about that stuff but I am here to touch on the stuff that I feel that honestly does really actually help to get you subscribers so guys the truth is if you do not have a lot of views or subscribers your video won't get found so how you do it is you hustle let me tell you how you hustle this is how i hustled and it really worked for me so i am going to share with you what it is this actually what i'm about to tell you actually gave me about 35 to 45 subs and guys let me stop you right there real quick it was not sub for sub okay do not do that if you take anything away from this video do not do that. It is not good long term because the people who sub to you just because you sub to them will not last. I mean, maybe some of them will, but most of them will unsubscribe eventually. And what good is that going to do you? What, skyrocket to a thousand and then come back down because they weren't real followers. You know what I'm saying? So the way to get real followers is to use Facebook groups. Facebook groups just type in new youtuber youtuber support small youtuber anything like that and you'll get a whole bunch of groups that will just pop up pop, 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 pop. and then you'll pick the ones that you like the best some of them you have to watch out because they don't let you post your links and stuff and i really don't know why because the whole point is to support small youtubers right so why not put your link to your channel in there so watch out for those but there are really good ones and they let you promote yourself and not only that you get to watch and see other people's content and the way you do it you probably put a post of your new video you say hey guys like i just dropped a new video and i really would like for y'all to check it out and i would put something like and i will check out your channel too and i would say do not subscribe if you don't like my content. Just subscribe if you genuinely like my content because I want real followers who like my channel for my content, not just because they want me to subscribe to their channel. So do not sub for sub and I'm really happy with the people I've subscribed to so far and I hope that it is the same for them if they subscribe to me. And thank you all so much who have, and I really appreciate y'all. All in all, I just want y'all to know that that is what worked for me, the Facebook groups, and definitely push it out to your friends and family at first. Definitely do not, not do that. Do it, do it, do it. That is how you will get your first little group of subscribers. It'll help you get, you know, up there, boost your morale a little bit get you going, you know, give you traction, and then hustle, hustle, hustle on those YouTube groups, okay? 
on Facebook. So it'll get you up there, guys. We are growing together. If you're watching this, I can't wait to see if any of these tips helped you. Let me know in the comments below. And let's see, let's talk about what our goals are in the comments too. Like, are you at 100 and going to 200? Are you at zero going to 100? Let me know in the comments. We are here to support each other. And yeah, guys, that was about it. But all you have to do is work at it. It takes time and dedication. So you need to put in the work. Get that grind going so you can make it all the way up and i heard it's like a snowfall effect so when you climb 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 you reach the top and then you go and then everything just starts going up 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 so that is the goal i hope y'all like the video let me know if anything works for y'all thank you so much for supporting me i love you all and again thank you so much for helping me reach 100 y'all are amazing and we're going out from here guys so thank you so much, y'all are awesome, and I hope y'all have the best day ever. Bye.